Is this 1500 HD the best truck General Motors ever made? This is our 2003 Chevrolet 1500 HD Quadra Steer. This is a very unique truck in many ways and we're going to run through some of those things today and give it a review. This truck is now approaching 18 years old but is still running strong here on our farm. This truck is a 1500 HD as it states here. What the 1500 HD is, is a truck introduced by General Motors in 2001 to keep up with the crew cab trucks made by Ford and Dodge. They did not have a crew cab option, so they took the three-quarter ton truck, which this is actually a true three-quarter ton, and called it a 1500 and put a short box on it in order to make it seem more like a regular use truck. But it still has the same six liter, the same transmission, and the same drivetrain throughout as the regular 2500 of that year. The 2500 HD has a little bit stronger steel behind the rear frame, but essentially these trucks are the same. You'll also notice that the 2500 has a little bit of a body lift on it, so there's a little bit of a gap in here and a different hood. But otherwise, this is a 2500. What is also unique about this truck is that it has the Quadrasteer option. So Quadrasteer was introduced by General Motors in 2002. It was available on the three-quarter ton Suburban, on the 1500 HD, and you could get a half-ton pickup uh, with the uh, Quadrasteer. That truck would have been specifically a uh, extended cab, not crew cab, with the six-liter engine. Uh, such as the GMC Denali is a common way that you would see that truck. These were available both as GMCs and Chevys, but they were not popular for several reasons which we'll explain. The first and foremost reason is the cost. The price will vary depending on which year you purchased it. We'll show you the window sticker, original window sticker on this truck here in a moment, but I believe it was around $5,800 or something like that on this truck. Uh, we'll check on that in a second. But that was a lot of cost to add. However, I think the biggest downfall was in marketing. This truck was marketed to farmers and ranchers who would love the truck. One of the greatest advantages of this is in towing, in trailering, in backing up trailering, and moving, maneuvering in tight spots, which you often do on a farm truck. But its greatest advantage actually would have been to market the Suburbans to suburban moms who want to get in tight parking spots. You can parallel park going forward. You can get this thing into really tight parking spots. One of the main differences where you can pick out a quadra steer is they all came with the cab lights on the top, but then you get the extra flare in the bed here. This is a polymer bed instead of a metal bed, which will be rust resistant, but the truck bed flares out here. Both the half ton and 1500 HD models came with that flare. These wheels on this truck are not the factory wheels, otherwise this truck is 100% original from 2003. These are off of 2018. This truck is a California truck that I got about two years ago. It was essentially used only to tow a boat, a boat to the lake in California and had really no extensive use. Uh, it is in like new condition. Uh, it had uh, 90,000 miles when I got it. I think we are at 105,000 miles now. So a little walk around the truck to show you the condition of this truck. I did go do a full, full wet sand and paint correction on the whole truck, filled all of the little chips and nicks, but it was in excellent condition all the way around. We added the tonneau cover to it. Unfortunately, I did have to drive it home in the winter in the undercarriage before that trip looked absolutely brand new. There's just a little tiny bit of surface corrosion that formed on the frame after being exposed to salt just once, but you can see the leaf springs and everything, spare tire, everything look brand new. The running boards are in excellent condition. That's original chrome step.
So why would I make the claim that this is the ultimate truck ever made? Well, as you can see, these trucks have held up really well at their, this age. Uh, it has not needed any major mechanical repair. It has had extensive service done and maintenance done, but has remained in excellent working order. These trucks don't rust quite as bad as the next generation Chevy, this GMT 800, which is the successor to the GMT 400, introduces us to the LS engines, which are known to be outstanding. This is done prior to active fuel management and you avoid all of those issues. Yeah, it's a very simple, easy truck mechanically to work on, but yet has plenty of power and uh, capability. Its ride and comfort features are great. The other feature is the introduction of a fully functioning quadrasteer in this year, which really was ahead of its time and unfortunately, as I stated earlier, didn't survive. One of the main reasons the quadrasteer didn't survive was just not enough people buying it. But that was largely because for the reasons we stated as poor marketing and price. Quadrasteer is now being reintroduced in the new Hummer EV by GMC, but this was way ahead of its time. The way that it works is below 45 miles, the wheels turn the opposite direction of the front wheels, therefore reducing your turning radius, and above 45 miles, they actually turn the same way as your drive wheels. This allows for lane changes, which are much smoother and makes this big, heavy truck handle much more like a smaller car and doesn't feel the same body roll that you would normally feel. Here is the original window sticker from this truck. This truck was ordered essentially with every available option. It is the LT version, which came to a price of 38,000 when ordered as a base LT. As I'd mentioned earlier, the Quadrasteer was a very expensive option at $44.95. A large part of this cost was the total redesign of the bed of the truck as well as the quadrasteer system. The Suburbans in this year had larger fender flares but did not change the whole body side. I'm not sure if the cost of the quadrasteer was slightly less with this. As the years went on in 2004 and 2005 the price of quadrasteer did come down but the initial high cost played a negative role in it. This truck was originally ordered and delivered to Woodard Chevrolet in Fairfield, California. As I stated, the gentleman who I picked it up from uh, actually was the neighbor to the gentleman who originally owned it. He had only owned it for a very brief period of time and the original owner who I also visited with when I picked up the truck had special ordered this uh, since he had wanted this quadrasteer truck. It also is equipped with the XM radio, uh, the heavy duty alternator, dual batteries, and even an engine block heater for the San Francisco area of California, which I'm thankful to have here in northern Minnesota, but was not needed at the time, showing just how equipped this truck was. It has the 373 rear axle and California emissions, which I truthfully do not know exactly what that is and I've even tried to look up how having California emissions affects the truck. Total price in this truck was $47,078, which really if you think in today's terms is not an expensive truck, but at the time this probably is the equivalent of a $70,000 or $80,000 truck compared to other trucks on the road. So the interior of the Silverado pickups from this body style is very comfortable, has good sound deadening, and is quiet, and is very durable. Uh, this truck was originally equipped with the bucket seats with the console up front. I put in the center console and folding seat out of a 2014 Suburban to give us a six passenger seating. This did require me to relocate the subwoofer which was in this to under the rear seat, but otherwise I was able to maintain all the wiring harnesses, even the uh, controls for the rear seat entertainment system. The leather has held up well in this truck, it is still very comfortable with the heated leather still working at this time. The back seat 
is also comfortable with plenty of leg room. This truck, as we stated, also is equipped with the rear seat entertainment system, which was a Panasonic system costing $1,200. It has a very small screen, but it is functional still. Quadra steer allows us to back this truck up confidently through very tight spaces and in difficult situations. Here you can see how the quadra steer allows the truck to move away from the fence post as I go around it, giving the truck better clearance all the way around. So as you can see by that, we were able to maneuver this truck through a very tight space. You possibly could have done that without the quadra steer, but I, it would have been really hard. This gives you a lot more confidence. Where it really comes in is when I'm backing up the trailers to load animals, I'm able to get the rear end over. Another great advantage is when you're backing trailers into a building such as this pole barn, you're able to get the rear end of the trailer over a lot farther and maneuver things in a lot tighter and get into a lot tighter spaces than without the quadra steer. So looking underneath the truck at the quadra steer system, you can see that what it consists of is a, I believe it's a Dana rear end that Delphi then modified with the quadra steer with tie rods on both sides and a steering system. This truck also has airbags, which I don't think I mentioned. the ride in the right height. The quad option as we've stated is also available on the Suburban. There was a company in Florida that was creating something called the Duraburb where they took the Duramax out of a pickup and put it in brand new quad Suburbans creating the Duraburb which was at the time the ultimate Suburban ever created with a Duramax Quadrasteer Suburban. There are still a few rare models like this out there. I'm not sure if anyone has created a 1500 HD with the Duramax in there, but there probably is someone who's done this. Some people might say that then creates the ultimate truck with the diesel version of this. I feel, however, that the gas truck is probably more versatile and useful. Uh, in an all-around environment. So now we're gonna go for a ride to show the Quadra Steer in action out on the road a little bit. One of the things you don't appreciate is the sensation of how it feels. Uh, it almost feels like you're drifting your rear end at first until you get used to it. Uh, but it really is a, a pleasure to drive. So the Quadra Steer has three different modes that you can do. You can be in four, four with a trailer which adjusts how the rear end steers or you can go to two. And the system will default to two if something isn't working right. So in four you can see there. This truck also is equipped with the adjustable ride. You can see a little light that comes on and off there. So now we're going to go through a series of corners at higher speed demonstrating how the quadrasteer works at higher speed. The main thing is in what you feel. Going to go into this corner. The rear wheels turn with the front, making this truck very stable and not feel like it's leaning in the same manner. It may not be a large amount that the rear wheels turn, but it makes a big difference in the handling. The truck just comes around the corners, which is really nice and smooth, and unlike the big truck that it is. We wanted to demonstrate you how the quadra steer really gives you an advantage on making U-turns on highways or other situations. Sometimes you're in a tight spot with a trailer or other places where it's hard to turn around. Here with the truck in four-wheel steering, the truck is able to, using the shoulder, make a full U-turn on a two-lane highway. So I turned the four-wheel steering off to attempt the same maneuver to show the difference that it makes. As you can see here, the truck is unable to make the maneuver when it fall off the road.
if you watch a second time here, the truck is still unable to make the maneuver and would go way down into the ditch if you were to keep going forward. The front end is not even past 90 degrees when I stop to back up. I've now switched the quadra steer back on here right now. With the quadra steer on, the truck is able to make it fully around the loop. So thanks for watching the review of our Chevy 1500 HD quadra steer. We think it does circles around all the competition and all the other vehicles ever created. And that's why we feel it's the ultimate truck that General Motors and possibly anyone has ever made as far as practicality, usability, and durability. They just don't make trucks like they did back then. I've had people ask me, is this truck for sale? And of course it is for the right price. I wouldn't let it go cheap. So thanks for watching our review of the Chevy 1500 HD Quadra Steer. We think it does circles around the competition. So we're not the only ones that feel that this generation of Chevy truck with the 6 liter engine or the 5.3 is the best truck ever made. Watch this review from Tyler Hoover from Hoovy's Garage who comes to the same conclusion. He has a unique truck of his own but I feel that our Quadra Steer is even a more unique truck than his.